Hello and welcome to another episode of Paddle Face Off. Well, if you have watched last Sunday's video, you should know what I will compare today. And if you read the description and seen the thumbnail. Well, anyways, today we compare the KMA Audi Machines Wurm and the Wurm 2. So here we have both pedals, the Wurm 2 and the Wurm 1. I have the limited edition, it comes in the same color option, although this is a bit brighter in color. And the original Wurm 1 is uh, white and black. So apart from that, what are the differences? Well, apparently the housing is smaller. Then we have, uh, here we have side mounted jacks and here we have top mounted jacks. I actually prefer it top mounted these days. Just saves space on the pedal board and well, it looks cleaner in my opinion. Then we have the four control knobs. They are the same. We have terror and volume, all the same. But here we have a switch that lets you toggle between different EQ styles. And this switch is actually on the Wurm 1 as well, but on the inside as an uh, internal DIP switch. So they've moved it to the outside, which I think it's great because that's the option that I used most of my Wurm 1. On the inside, both pedals have four internal trim controls to let you choose the center frequencies for the four bands. Of course, the high mids center frequency only works when you activate an EQ style that's not HM2. So for instance, both and the KMA one. Another difference is the actual foot switch. And here we have, uh, well, I don't know how it's called, but you can hear it. And here we have a silent one. I highly prefer this one here as well. So with this being said, let's find out how the curves look. I hope they look identical or well, should I hope that they look different because I basically have two of the same pedals here and I want to justify to keep both for sound reasons. <laughs> well, settings are all the same, volume to max, terror to zero, EQ to noon. And I think I've activated the it's either both iq uh, eq styles or it's the hm2 iq style so we'll find out so first things first we have a bit more volume on the worm 2 with a bit more high frequencies fewer low frequencies here okay so first of all low We have 95, 96 hertz at minus 45 dB, and here we have minus 47. Uh, we have an increased or a decreased range on the Wurm 2, maybe. Okay, high mids. Those look identical. No, here it's the lower high peak is a bit lower in volume. I think it's more on the original at 945 and here it's at 1K. So that's the difference. Okay. Um, now low mids four hundred and here it's at four hundred 
40. So it's slightly shifted. Uh, the center frequencies were slightly adjusted. We can cut it to reduce well the honk or the papery tone, cardboard sound, you call it, and highs. Seems to be a bit more effective on the VM2. Okay, now Terra adds a bit of noise and Terra adds a bit high frequencies as well. So, they are not identical. I think that's good. But let's find out how they really sound. So, which pedal did you prefer? Do you like it big and old school? Or do you like it new and small? Let me know down in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, check out the links in the description. And with this said, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, may the force be with you and have a nice day.